I didn't want to just make one movie at a time. One of the things that I learned on the back of Laundrette was quickly get the next one going before they find out about the last one, basically, <laughs> which can cut both ways. But that, that thinking uh, broadened a little bit uh, in, the, in the 90s, where I thought, and Eric and I, because Eric came and we started to work together at this point, realized that you had to be making a slate all the time, is you had to think in slate terms, because it's such a risky business, is you can't be dependent on just one movie at any, at, at any given time. And that in that slate, you need to have a balance, and that you need to have a commercial film on the, on, uh, at one place, and if you're gonna, ha if you're gonna make a, uh, an Atonement, or you're gonna make an Elizabeth, or you're gonna make a you know, Tinker Tailor, or whatever it is, basically, is on the other side of the coin, you need to have one of Richard's movies, or one of Rowan's movies, and, and, and you need to keep that balanced. And you know, the other thing that we were exceedingly lucky about at the time is that we found two, we get, the, 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 well, several things happened, basically. Is first of all, Michael and, and Eric and I worked out on paper what we thought a, good, a, a really good production company would look like, which would be a machine that was set up for the development and producing of movies. Forget the financing, forget the distribution, that they would uh, take care of that. And the structure of working titles as it exists today was pretty much evolved at that point. And most of the people, to be quite honest, and we decided we needed a, a development department that had a, had a wing in the UK and in the US. Uh, the UK one was run by Deborah Haywood and still is. The, the US one by Eliza Chase and, and still is, basically. That below them, they should have a number of uh, development executives, and there are probably half a dozen people who work in development and working at Title Now. We should have a book area because for chasing down and knowing about um, books and, and rights in them that were that were available that because we were aiming to be a, a, a company that did quite a few films so we should have a, have a business affairs department it made sense to bring business affairs inside so we did that and now we've got three or four lawyers who work in in-house that when you turn a movie into, when the, the, the development's over and you're packaging it up, you need to have a production department basically who can oversee the production um, of films. As a little adenium, it's quite nice to have somebody in music, so you had one person in music, quite nice to have one person who's gonna be in marketing, so we had one person in marketing, and you need a finance department. And that is pretty much the structure of, of uh, working title as it exists today.